Hey, how you doing? It's me, Chris. I'm back. Well, today is July 4th, 2017. A day that history records as Independence Day. Excuse me. <clears throat> On this day in 1776, the Continental Congress declared our independence from England. Now, 241 years later, we celebrate Independence Day. But what are we independent from? Think about this. Is it just a Hallmark holiday nowadays? Everybody just celebrates, gets together, has barbecue, shoots off fireworks, drinks beer, gets all hammered, has a good time. Stores make a bunch of money, fireworks stands make a bunch of money, liquor stores make a killing. It's just another holiday. It's a Hallmark holiday. It's kind of like Mother's Day, Father's Day, that kind of stuff. My question is, what are we independent from? Are we independent from tyranny? No. Lots of tyranny. Are we independent from taxation without representation? Absolutely not. Matter of fact, yesterday... Um, I order my cigars online. I order my pipe tobacco and my cigars from pipesandcigar.com. And uh, usually I get pretty good price on stuff. Not a problem. Yesterday I uh, went to order some cigars, and I was informed that the state of Colorado, this is crazy, wait till you hear this. The state of Colorado has passed a secret taxation legislation. This is secret. Nobody knows about it. Nobody's heard about it. And we sure didn't get to vote on it. If you purchase tobacco product, now this is all because the federal government is finally following the Constitution and cutting the state's federal funding for harboring illegal aliens. So in cutting their federal funding, Denver which is a sanctuary city, and broke because they're supporting all the illegals. The governor, John Hickenlooper, I call him Hickenboober because he's a real moron, dumb Democrat, liberal, communist, he's decided that he's going to make up that money. So, they passed this law. If you order tobacco online, or from another state. The state of Colorado has ordered the companies. Now, I, if I was a company, I'd tell the state of Colorado to cram it. But they're a bunch of wimps. Everybody's a wimp nowadays. Nobody stands up for anything. Anyway, they have ordered these companies to turn your name into them so that at the end of the year, they can tax you on your order. Taxation without representation. We have not been represented. We have not voted. We have not had a choice. That's not what the Constitution says. That's not even what our state Constitution says. <sighs> Yesterday, my daughter and myself, we had several errands that we had to run. The Colorado State Patrol has been ordered to write tickets every 20 minutes. If a trooper doesn't write tickets every 20 minutes, then their pay will be docked. I know a friend who is a trooper, and he was telling me about this stuff, that they had a meeting and were ordered to write a ticket every 20 minutes. Well, back and forth, back and forth between Montrose and Delta and Olathe and all the other places that we had to go yesterday to do our errands, there was a state patrolman, a trooper, big old fat trooper. And every time we drove by him, we drove by him probably a half a dozen times or so. Every time we drove by him, he was, cruising, he was patrolling Highway 50 out here. He had somebody different pulled over. He, on Independence Day, is participating in extortion, extorting his fellow citizens for whatever victimless crime 
they can come up with to bust you for. What kind of a crime is it to not wear a seatbelt? Are you hurting anyone else but yourself? It's a victimless crime. They work for the state. The state hauls you into court for whatever ridiculous reason. With the minute you walk into court, the judge bonds your case. They take your social security number and your name and they bond your case. Then the judges turn around and sell your name and social security number as a mortgage on the open market. So you're getting fleeced twice. You're getting fleeced the minute that you walk into court and then you're getting fleeced with whatever victimless crime that they're trying to charge you with, this unconstitutional crime. So the judges are making money hand over fist because they're selling your name as a mortgage, which is illegal. That, that's fraud. But they get away with it because they're the ones that make the law. So they're selling your name and your social security number as a mortgage to make money off of you, which gets sold over and 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 over. I don't know if you all have ever owned a house or not, but your mortgage gets sold over and over and over to different banks. When I owned my house, I never really knew who I was going to make the check out to because somebody different owned the mortgage all the time. It's ridiculous. So they do the same thing now in court. So these judges are making money hand over fist, selling your information uh, to, as a mortgage. Then they nail you for however much the fine is for whatever trumped up charge they try to hit you with unconstitutionally victimless crime and if you say anything in your own defense they throw you in jail is that independence is that freedom it's tyranny it's nothing but tyranny so what is Independence Day it's a hallmark holiday now because nobody is willing to stand up for their rights This tax that they've imposed on the citizens of Colorado, all right, let's put this into perspective because I'm sure a lot of you are like, yeah, who cares? It's tobacco. You're not supposed to be smoking anyway. You're going to die of cancer, da, 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 da. All right, let's put it into perspective. What if you were to go to nasty old Starbucks? Yuck. The things that I've heard about Starbucks. Ugh. Anyway, you go to Starbucks and you order a cup of coffee. And they turn around and they turn you in to the state that you live in. So at the end of the year, you can get a receipt to pay taxes on your coffee. How about that? Let's, let's, let's put things into a different perspective here. It's still taxation without representation. They're taxing us without our knowledge, number one. The only reason I know about it is because the gal at PNC told me about it. And she told me all about it. She gave me the lowdown. So now I know, and I'm telling you. Whether or not you choose to believe me, I don't care. But they have turned the tide back to exactly where we started. We've gone full circle. Just we're no longer officially run by the King of England. Now we're run by the tyrants in Washington, D.C. and in our state legislatures. We're still the serfs. We're still slaves. What does Independence Day mean to you? Where's the meaning? It's empty. When are we going to start taking back our freedom? When are we going to start ridding ourselves of this tyranny? Do you know what would happen back in the days of uh, the independent, uh, the war for independence if a tax was levied on the people that they, it was a secret tax? The people would rise up. They would go and take those legislatures out into the public square and tar and feather them. Hot tar and feather. They'd tar and feather them in the public square for everybody to see. And if it was a bad enough offense, they'd hang them after they were tarred and feathered. But not us. We're wimpy Americans. 
Oh, it's all right. It doesn't affect me. It's okay. Who cares? Hand me another beer. Yeah. Okay. So what if you went in and bought a six-pack or a 12-pack or a case or a bottle or whatever it is that you got a taste for? And at the end of the year, you received a, a ticket from the state that says you owe us these taxes because you bought a 12-pack of beer. Hmm. Changes things around a little bit, doesn't it? Well, the lies, the deception, the outright cheating, the tyranny that is inflicted upon American citizens is repulsive. Our forefathers would be so disgusted by how weak we are. And people are just willing to go along with whatever. Turn the TV on. That way I could sit here and drool out the corner of my mouth and watch whatever programming that they're pumping into my head. Pretty disgusting. Pretty disgusting. And as far as our Bill of Rights goes, our Bill of Rights is under constant attack. Those are God-given rights. The right for freedom of speech. The right to bear arms. The right to illegal search and seizure the right to a fair trial with a jury of your peers. Try to get that. You try to get that. Because according to the Constitution, any court case that's over $40, you're supposed to have the option of having a jury trial. Try to get one. Good luck. They want you to plea out of it, strike a plea bargain with them, even if you're not, even if you're not a, a guilty if you're not guilty, they will force you. They will run you through the system and force you to strike a plea deal so that you can't prove your innocence and you're still paying them, whether with your time or with money. What is that? That's not justice. You're guilty. You're automatically guilty. There's no innocence. You're guilty. From the minute that you walk in that courtroom, you are guilty. How long are you people going to stand up with this? How long? You're going to just put up with it. It's okay. Well, let me give you a little idea of what's going on. The economy is coming down. The bubbles are bursting. I don't care if you believe me. It doesn't matter. This is the truth. They've held up our economy and lied to us about our economy, lied to us about the unemployment. The stock market is all fake. All of it. You've got a handful of people that are using derivative silver and gold certificates, not metal. They're derivative certificates. Okay? And whenever the stock market starts to crash or the precious metals start to increase because when the dollar's not worth anything, precious metals go up in value. Supposed to. Yesterday, there was a flood of derivative certificates, gold and silver, which hit the market first thing in the morning to crash the precious metals market. This isn't even, it's just a piece of paper. It's not even metal. It's just a piece of paper that says it's worth the metal. When it comes down to it, it's worth a piece of paper. Try to go collect on a piece of paper. They're going to laugh at you. Couldn't even collect on a silver certificate anymore. <laughs> it's all fake. It's all an illusion. Do you get it? It's an illusion. And your part... You, you're, you sucker. You're a sucker because you believe it's real. So you're a sucker. If you don't believe it's real, then you're awake. The Lord has opened your eyes and you are now awake. You better be doing some research because you better be getting everything together. First thing that you need to do is you need to repent. Without repentance, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing. No everlasting life. Well, there is, but you're certainly not going to be judged very well. It's not up to me to say. 
I'm just letting you know what it says in the Bible. Without repentance, you're kind of a SOL. The next thing that you need to do is you need to form a relationship with the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Join me in Bible study. Stop by. I try to keep my Bible studies down to a half hour so that way it's not cutting into your day. The Lord's not burdening you. The Lord's word. Then what you need to do is you need to do some research. Look this stuff up. Do the research for yourself. Don't listen to the mainstream media. They'll just lie to you. The independent media, is some, there's some good sources there, but still, they're human. Look it up. Follow the rabbit hole. It goes deep. And then once you get into that rabbit hole, you are going to start realizing what's really going on. And you're going to get really mad. First of all, you're going to get really hurt because you've been lied to so much. You'll be in denial. This can't be possibly happening. This, there's no way that this is possibly happening. Then the further down the rabbit hole you'll get, you'll get mad. I can't believe that they're doing this to me. I can't believe that they're doing this to the citizens in a free country. Quote, unquote, free country. Then you're going to get your act together. Going to start getting food, water, ammunition, a firearm so you can protect yourself. You've already got your Bible. That's your main weapon. But you're going to need to defend your families. And you're going to need to be able to eat because it's going to get to the point where the dollar is so worthless that a loaf of bread is going to be 20 bucks. You'll have people with wheelbarrows full of dollars. Worthless. What are they going to do with it? Somebody will steal the wheelbarrow because it's worth more. I know you guys all think that I just blow smoke. I ain't blowing smoke. I'm telling you the truth. Whether or not you choose to listen is up to you. I'm not going to drag this video out. I just wanted to make a few points. There's bad things going on in this country. They can bust your door down and arrest you at any time for any reason. Are you going to allow that? Are you going to let them take your family? Are you going to let them take you? Are you going to let them wrap you up in the system? Destroy everything that you have? Or are you going to stand and fight? Are you going to let them tax you without any kind of recourse? We don't have a say. We have no recourse whatsoever. It's not like we can go and Raid the king's ship and dump all of his tea into the harbor. What's our recourse? I like the tar and feather idea. As long as we're not murdering anyone, I think that that's a good way to handle things. It sure does put out a statement, doesn't it? But I am not going to call for violence. I'm going to call for prayer. Pray. Repent. Form a relationship with the Lord. It's the only salvation. That's it. There is no other. Then get yourself prepared because this is coming down. I would say that at least 40% of the population is now awake. The uh, election and Trump being elected has opened a lot of people's eyes. But they're still not willing to stand. Where do you stand? That's my question. Where do you stand? Are you complicit? Are you part of the problem and not the solution? Willing to just float along with the rest of the sheep? Think about it. Think about what Independence Day really means. Is it just the 4th of July now? Just like the 5th and the 3rd of July? Just another day. Except for this one, here's a Hallmark holiday. Our forefathers would be so upset with us. After all the people 
throughout history have fought and died in the bankers' wars for your freedom. For your freedom. You insult them because you refuse to back them. I'm not talking to those who are awake. Those who are awake are probably reaching the point of being angry. I'm talking to the ones that refuse to open your eyes. The ones that scoff and laugh and talk about conspiracy theories. There's no such thing as a conspiracy theory. That's conspiracy truth. This is happening. Whether you want to accept it or not, this is happening. Going to wait until you're sitting in Camp FEMA wondering what happened before you actually realize, hey, this is real. Or are you going to be proactive and put an end to it now? God bless America. God have mercy on our souls. This ungodly, sinful, repulsive nation. All we want to do is run around the world, start wars, and create havoc, and be terrorists. The United States government is the greatest terrorist organization in the entire world. The CIA funds and supplies with weapons all of the terrorist organizations. I don't know if you guys realize this or not. There was a shipment that came into the United States a couple of days ago. Five shipping containers. Those five shipping containers were supposed to be delivered to a mosque in California. They intercepted the shipping containers and searched them. These shipping containers were full, full of M4s and ammunition. Going to a mosque. Where do you think those were going to be used for? Let's keep bringing them in. Yeah, let's bring those uh, terrorists in here. Let's support them. Same way that we've supported all the illegal aliens. Let's support them. You like to work. You like to work. You like to support all of these illegal activities that our government is doing because that's where your taxes go. You pay taxes, they're going right into the coffer of the elitists. That way they can have a good time. They can party on your dime. They can support the illegals. They can bring terrorists into our country to unleash hell on its citizens. Or you can send your sons and daughters to a foreign country to fight a banker's war that's being supported by the CIA. It's up to you. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your barbecue. God bless. Have a great 4th of July. We'll see you soon.